All right, so in this video, we're gonna start getting into the meat of the game, the impulse phase. Now I'm gonna go right along with the rule book, so you'll be able to take and look at your rule book as you watch some of these videos to help you as you learn the game. Now, first thing that we're gonna address is your action phase. So it's how to get your units to do whatever little action that you want them to do. Start with, we're gonna look at playing an action card. Remember, we've talked about our action deck before. That's what's gonna control the flow of the game. Both players are drawing from it. This is where you get your D6 rolls and your game turn, all that good stuff. But you're gonna be playing these cards to get your units to perform certain actions. Now I've got a couple examples of action cards. Remember, each player will have a hand of cards that they're going to be playing from. And when you're looking at your action cards, they can have either one or two icons of actions that you can get your units to perform. So generally speaking, when you play an action card, you're going to take and play that on a unit or a stack of units, if it's applicable, to have them perform whatever action. As an example, this one is a May Ready one unit. If you remember before, we talked about ready and spent units. Spent units being turned sideways, this would allow them to become spent, uh, ready and available for actions. That's what the play of this action card would entail. But if you look at this action card, this one has two icons. Now with action cards like this, it, the same type rules apply. You can take and play this on a unit or stack of units to get them to perform the actions listed on the card. So by playing this card, you could make a rally attempt with all of your units, but again, you would only be able to ready a single unit. Now, when it comes to the action cards, there are a bunch of different icons that allow a multitude of different actions, some of which you see listed down on the units. We're gonna get into the specific actions and what they do a little bit later on. Just remember, when you're playing an action card, it's going to have either a single or two icons that'll allow you to perform that action with a unit or a stack of units. Now, there are a few action cards that are played differently. For example, our reinforcement and sniper cards. Playing these as an action, you're not going to have your units performing anything. These uh, are like events that get played, and we're going to go over that a little later on, on what these specific cards do. As well as those, there's also the cover action card but this is not played on your turn. This is going to be played on your opponent's turn to give your, uh, your units a better chance at defense. 